Hey guys, I'm at Village Pantry on the beautiful Coffs Coast. We are looking at their espresso bar setup. This is something that we were a part of from the very early days, the initial designs. And we feel like the design, the layout, the workflow has been integral to the growth of their business, helped them maintain consistency and speed and good workflow all around. So come with me, I'll walk you through it. All right, so starting from this side, you can see that we're working from one side to the other. That eliminates any clashes of customers coming in or customers coming out. So the customer will walk up to the counter. They've obviously got a view of the, of the display. They've got the menu. And at this point, this person's really helping the barista on the machine. So they've got them writing their orders on the cup. So the cup goes on the machine and that workflow means that that cup is staying all the way through the process, all the way out the end, and gets called out with their name on it. You'll notice they do have our little shorthand language guide here, which is gonna help just consistency between staff as well. So, all the display. Now, the person is actually also helping the barista by preparing the chocolates, the sugars, the chais. Now, this is something to free up the barista. They've already got enough on their hands. So if you can, introduce a few extra processes, whether it's syrups, chocolates, anything that you can help take the pressure off the barista and slow down the till rather than the coffees, that's gonna be a huge help to the barista. So the grinders they've got here is two of the Anthem SP2 Plus grinders, and they've got a best on demand. They use that for their decaf. They've got their single origin in one of the SP2 Plus, and then their blend, house blend, is our champion blend. Now, only six weeks ago did I put these grinders in here because they took an EK43 out. They were like, using an EK43 to dose in and grind off everyone that way. They just now do so much volume that that process became a little bit heavy handed and they needed to speed it up and they could justify the use of having a whole hopper full of dedicated single origin beans. Now, take note that there is recipes written on each grinder. There's, you know, times, there's full recipes here. Now this is how they're gonna create, create consistency between staff, they know how to dial in, they're all on the same page. So those recipes will change with the different signal origins that we supply them, but that is making sure that every staff member that gets on the machine understands what the, what the coffee is and how to best dial it in. Notice that they have both trays on here with their scales, they're using the dosing pots, they're weighing every single dose that's coming out of here because they're doing 40 kilos a week and they're still weighing every single coffee. So if you want to be consistent and you want to make sure that your repeatability is a big part of your business and that consistency, introducing weighing and having a good recipe that you can repeat is integral to that process. All right, so moving on to tamping, we've got our pump press here, but another big part of their process is good distribution. Now, this is introduced to them over the last year. It's, made, it's meant that their extractions are consistent. So when they're looking at the shot times on their coffee machine, they know that they can just adjust their grind and that's the biggest thing. They're not worried about their tamp pressure being an issue. They're not worried about distribution being an issue because they have introduced good tools like the NCD tool. So, Lamazako machine, dual boiler machine, dedicated steam boiler for steam and another dual steam boiler for extractions. So they're not getting a difference in their extractions when they're doing their steam. It definitely keeps up, it maintains consistency. Um, using three group heads, obviously with the volume they're doing. Um, this is a Lamazako FB, uh, FB80, this one. So great machine, beautiful extractions, high pressure steam to make sure that they can keep pumping out milk and obviously a range of jugs, but they do have an eye rinse as well. So this is a hands-free jug rinser. This ensures that when they um, are cleaning their jugs, they don't even have to hold them. It will just rinse hands-free. So automation and any way that you can possibly free up your hands and get yourself moving quicker and move on while something's cleaning your jugs for you is gonna be a huge help. So we've moved the moved the coffee all the way along the process from the grinding to the extractions to the milk. Now we can prepare it on the bench and send it out and you, we haven't had to cross over staff or anything like that. So the workflow from that cup coming in and sending out is much easier. Takeaway people can stand over there, staff can come up and plate up for you without getting in your way and you've got access to everything you need. You've got great bench space, you've got all of your milk 
ready for your milk person under here and heaps of room, access to everything that, you'll need, that they need in a busy place like this. This is a completely replicatable thing. We've done this in many places. It's definitely our favorite and the, the setup that we love the most. So this is something that if you're building a new cafe, we'd love to help you with. Or if you need some advice or you wanna follow this along, you can do it yourself. Um, if you're looking at doing renovations, this would be a great way to look at rebuilding your bar. And there are some other ways we do. We'll talk them through it another time. But I hope that this has been insightful for you to see how someone else does it, how you could apply this to your cafe. Is there anything that you, um, any questions you have, put them in the comments below. Um, we do have another video that references where, uh, design a layout that Luke did. So we'll put a link into that below as well. If you have any questions, you can contact us direct. Go to artistic.com.au and find my details on there and ask me about how to build Cafe Benson. If you're opening a cafe, I'd love to talk to you. If you have any questions, comments below, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.